Do you have difficulty in recognising different combinations of vowels in British English? Sounds like I, A or air. Watch this video and learn how to pronounce them correctly and recognise them when native speakers use them. So are you ready to improve your English faster and better than you ever thought possible? Great, let's go! Welcome to my channel where you will learn English better like a native speaker and welcome aboard Palm Tree Teaching English Academy. I'm Deirdre Nicholas and for over 20 years I've helped thousands of English learners improve their English and now it's your turn. For the very best English language lessons and a new way of learning English that really works, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and the bell so you don't miss any of my twice weekly lessons. Today we're going to talk about a really useful part of pronunciation which will help your own pronunciation too. It's the combination of vowel sounds in the same syllable that makes a longer vowel sound. By the end of this lesson you will have tuned your ears into the sounds of two of the most commonly used diphthongs and had an opportunity to practice using them yourself. It's important that you can distinguish between the different sounds in British English. So, the first diphthong that we're going to talk about is the A sound. Now, this is a combination of the two vowel sounds E as in egg and I as in ship. And when they combine, they become A. Now, this diphthong is probably the most commonly used diphthong and it's in many different words with many different spellings, which may get confusing. So, I'm going to help you with that. For example, words with A, such as make, stay, bake, pay. In words with AI, such as pain and rain. And then there are words with EI, like eight, nay. And words with EA, like steak. So to make this sound, you start with the jaw half open and start with the E sound, and then gradually close it to become an I sound. So it becomes A. A, like that. So let's practice some sentences. It's a rainy day. I'm going to bake a cake today. You're crazy. You're going to eat eight cakes. You have to pay for this steak. What's your name? I'm going straight home. Now the second diphthong that we're going to look at today is the sound O. Now this is the sound that you make when you're surprised with something, such as oh, or if you're interested in something, oh. Now it's a combination of the two sounds uh and o, oh, and this creates o. Oh. It's a very British English sound. Now this is less confusing when you think about the spelling of the words with this sound, because they all usually have the letter o oh in them. So you've got words like go, show, though, and so therefore it's less complicated to try and remember that. However, there are a few that have a spelling with an EW, like so. It's the same sound, but a different spelling. Now to make this sound, you start off in the center of the mouth, the, the sound moves back, but your lips are quite rounded. So it's things like, don't go. Now, if you want to sound really posh, like the Queen, for example, she will make the rounded sound of the O much more exaggerated. So she might say something like, don't go. So let's practice some sentences. Number one, I dropped the phone on my toe. Ow. The dog chewed a bone by the rose. Don't go home. I live over there. I can show you. And this is so interesting to know. Now I've put these words and sentences below this video so that you can practice them on your own at home. Or you can make up any of your others. It's quite a fun exercise to do. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, I would love to hear from you. So please put your comments below this video. Don't forget, I post lessons twice a week, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of those lessons. And I really hope you enjoy your English. So until next time, bye.